Well, the worst appears to be behind us now as COVID cases continue to decline locally and nationwide. This week, St. Louis County began honoring the community partners who lent a hand in the county's pandemic response. Here with an update is Patrick Boyle, St. Louis County Commissioner and Chair of the Board's Health and Human Services Committee. And Amy Westbrook is St. Louis County's Public Health Division Director. And thank you both for being on Almanac North tonight. Thank you. Well, uh, Amy, we're really two solid years now into the COVID pandemic. We've been, seem like we've been fighting this for a long time. What's the current situation? Do we have a handle on this right now? Well, um, we did have some pretty major spikes with the Delta variant and the Omicron variant, and we've dropped our numbers um, significantly since that. So hopefully we have a lot of immunity out there, a lot of vaccinated people, a lot of people who may have been exposed, and we are seeing our numbers come down. So they have notched up a bit this past week, but we're still um, um, pretty good for our numbers um, relative to where we were even a couple months ago. So what are hospitalization rates like? Are we still putting a lot of people in the hospital? No, our hospitalization rates haven't increased yet. So that's a good thing. Um, we know that people can get sick with COVID and have very mild illness. Sure. So hopefully that's what we'll see um, with, these, with, the, with the cases still out there. We're certainly still seeing people get sick and hospitalized, but our hospitalized numbers have not been as high as they have been certainly over the last few months. Mm -hmm. Commissioner Boyle, St. Louis County has been honoring some of the community partners who uh, really stepped up with public health partnership awards. Mm -hmm. um, what are some of those um, things that, that organizations and people did that really went above and beyond that need to be recognized right now? Right, I, you know, to begin with, you know, it was about 25 months ago, uh, about this time that Amy, myself, uh, Dr. Nick Van Dielen uh, had a press conference announcing the first diagnosed case of, of COVID in St. Louis County. And it was our goal from that point to now, and I think Dennis brought it up, is our main goal was to prevent folks from inundating our ICU rooms. And, you know, we did that through the mm -hmm. two surges, but we couldn't do it on our own. We knew that right away. Uh, and that's where we came in with uh, our private and public partners. Uh, and what they did and did so well uh, while still doing their jobs on top of it was to help educate uh, folks in St. Louis County uh, to help set up uh, sites uh, to be able to have easy access to testing and immunizations. And uh, that's who we really celebrated this past week. Uh, how many awards do we hand out? We know? handed out 41 and really? 41. just for the southern part of the county. So we're going to have a celebration up north at the end of the month in White Lakes when we're, when we're up there for a county board meeting. But, uh, you, you know, it was to take care of our most vulnerable, uh, you know, the minority populations in, in, in St. Louis County, those uh, suffering from homelessness, mm -hmm. our veterans. Uh, and so what we really wanted to do is not have services come to us, but we have services, we're coming to you. And so it was the chums, the partners are chums, uh, some of our churches, uh, the Damiano Center, Lifehouse with our youth. That's where we really got it out, yeah. and, and, and we, we saved lives because of it, because of our partners. Amy, I think a lot of our viewers uh, uh, are probably concerned a little bit about uh, any new variants that might be hiding out there. What's the situation right now? Sure. Well, Omicron continues to be the dominant variant, and we have seen the, the variant sublineages here in Minnesota and in the northeast part of Minnesota. Um, but we know that there's, you know, the best thing we can do is, is get vaccinated, get boosted, um, and that offers the best protection against any variant that we have seen so far. Now there's an opportunity for, for many people to get a fourth shot. Would you recommend that at this point for anybody who qualifies for it, or, or might it be best to, to hold off for a while? Sure. Well, it, there is um, recommend, new recommendations for anyone over the age of 50 or anyone who is immunocompromised with certain conditions. Um, and that it, it's a good, you know, getting a fourth booster is certainly a good idea. Um, timing wise, it's, it could be a good idea to talk to your physician um, to understand the, you know, the best time for, for you. Our numbers are low. People may want to wait. People may want to get it now based on when they got their last shot. So there's a lot to consider mm -hmm. and the best resources, your physician. Patrick, mm -hmm. this is a public health week in St. Louis County. What does that mean? It means a lot of different things. Uh, I, I think 
when we I was just talking to Amy before we started is it, public health will continue to go on and it's I think it's really important that we emphasize in, in budgets moving forward that we always have that infrastructure in place uh, for, for the next issue, whether that's a pandemic, uh, a bird flu, we, we don't know, but w we have to have that infrastructure in place and celebrate it. Uh, I'm so proud of our public health team and not only taking on the last two years, but still working with sure. vulnerable adults uh, with the WIC programs, with, mm -hmm. with women with uh, pregnancies with children. So to continue that and move forward, it's, it's preventive care, which is great. I wish we had far more time than we don't. I'm sorry. Amy, Patrick, thank you very much for being on the program. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.